Good Diet for High Blood Pressure and Hypertension. This article will furnish you comprehensive dietary advice for prehypertensive and hypertensive blood pressure levels. Here you will find diet tips to reduce blood pressure. Diet for High Blood Pressure and Hypertension, Relation Between Diet and Blood Pressure. If you have bad eating habits then it contributes significantly to unhealthily high blood pressure levels, even in middle age, when blood pressure levels typically rise as part of the aging process. Whether or not you are taking antihypertensive drugs, the need to make dietary improvements, e.g. Follow a healthy low-fat diet, is frequently at the top of a doctor's list of recommendations to reduce or prevent the onset of high blood pressure. Before outlining the best type of diet for hypertension, let's take a brief look at health consequences of raised blood pressure. Hazards of hypertension and high blood pressure. In underdeveloped as well as developed countries, an estimated 20 to 40 percent of all adults suffer from persistent high blood pressure. High blood pressure puts a strain on the heart causing atherosclerosis, thickening of vessels. Result is damage to heart, coronary artery disease, kidney failure, stroke, eye damage. Choice is yours, try to save these vital organs by controlling your BP. Remember hypertension is a silent killer, it shows its effects silently and when you come to know that you have BP, by that time hypertension often affects your vital organs. Normal blood pressure levels versus Prehypertensive and hypertensive Normal blood pressure of an healthy adult at rest, is 120, systolic, over 80, diastolic, or less. Blood pressure levels greater than 120 80 and below 140 90 are at prehypertensive stage, while levels above 140 90 are considered hypertensive stage. Both prehypertensive and hypertensive subjects should make diet, exercise and lifestyle changes to reduce or prevent the onset of hypertension and reduce the risk of heart disease. Weight increases blood pressure. Overweight persons will be having high blood pressure. Weight reduction significantly decreases blood pressure, people with obesity double their risk of developing the disorder. In addition, roughly 7 out of 10 obese adults suffer from high blood pressure. If you lose even 10 pounds can produce noticeable improvements. Dietary advice and tips for high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure and not overweight, here are few tips to control your BP. Choose a healthy balanced diet. If you want to reduce your blood pressure, your diet should be rich in fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy foods, while low in saturated and trans fats. It should also be low in cholesterol, high in fiber, calcium, potassium and magnesium, and moderately high in protein. The American Heart Association and U.S. government recommend the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, dash diet as a good diet guide to reduce blood pressure. First thing is to reduce your intake of sodium, salt. How salt intake increases blood pressure. Eating too much salt or sodium-rich foods leads to a greater uptake of fluid and causes greater retention of water inside body, leads to volume overload and high blood pressure. It also places extra strain on the arterioles, blood vessels that dilate, constrict to regulate blood pressure and blood flow. Both these effects lead to higher blood pressure. The recommended daily dose for sodium for most people is 2,400 mg. You can reduce sodium intake. How can you decrease sodium intake? Eat less pre-cooked or processed food, and eat more fresh food. Sodium is found naturally in fresh foods like grains, fruits, vegetables, meats, nuts, and dairy products, but in much lower quantities than in processed foods e.g. packet, bottled or canned food. High sodium foods. These foods typically have a high sodium content. In order not to exceed the RDA, either avoid them altogether, or choose low-sodium varieties. Sauces, baking soda, barbecue sauce, catsup, garlic salt, mustard, onion salt, soy sauce, steak sauce, salad dressing, baking powder, mustard, onion salt, seasoned salts like lemon pepper, bouillon cubes, meat tenderizer, and monosodium glutamate. Salted snacks, peanuts, pretzels, pork rinds, tortilla chips, corn chips. Soup, instant soups, regular canned soups. Pickled food, olives, or sauerkraut, herring, pickles, relish. 
Meats smoked or cured meats containing sodium nitrite such as bacon, bologna, hot dogs, ham, corned beef, luncheon meats, and sausage, hog maws, ribs, and chitterlings. Dairy, most cheese spreads and cheeses. Drinks, club soda, saccharin flavored soda. Cereals, instant hot cereals, regular ready to eat cold cereals. Ready to eat, boxed mixes like rice, scalloped potatoes, macaroni and cheese and some frozen dinners, pot pies and pizza. Quick cook rice, instant noodles. Fats, butter, fat back, and salt pork. Check labels of food containers. Choose those foods which labeled as low sodium, very low sodium, or salt free. Check food labels for words that indicate a high sodium content, including sodium nitrite, sodium propionate, disodium phosphate, and sodium sulfate, monosodium glutamate, MSG, sodium benzoate, sodium hydroxide. Lower sodium eating habits. Do not add extra salt when cooking or preparing meals. Cook with more herbs and spices. Do not have salt on the table while eating do not add salt on salad. If you cook with salt, switch to chili, ginger and lemon juice for flavoring. If you eat cured, smoked meats, switch to fresh cold meats. If you eat ready to serve breakfast cereal, choose low sodium types of cereal. Rinse before eating, if you eat tuna, salmon, sardines, or mackerel canned in water. If you eat soup, switch to low sodium or fresh soups. If you cook with whole milk or fat diet, switch to 1% or skimmed buttermilk. Remember taking less salt diet, your BP will be in normal limits.